when we got back down, we realized several things that changed our ministry. For one, we needed to not use an interpreter. Brad needed to start teaching when he was able to communicate properly in the language. Also, the New Testament was not suitable and we could not use it and we needed to start working on a Bible translation. And so it totally changed our ideal of how the ministry and how the mission should be. Brad began writing baptismal studies at that time. And by that fall, my brother-in-law was making a trip to China. He brought in with him a, a computer for us and a printer, the whole Old Testament from the old, what they had used in Inner Mongolia. And so he brought that to us and we started transliterating it from the old vertical script to the current Cyrillic. At this time, I had been asked to teach kindergarten at the international school. They were just beginning. And so I had agreed until they could find another teacher. One Mongolian student came and was trying to talk with me, and I found out she was studying French. I said, oh, you've got to come meet Joanne. She took French and she can help you. And so Nihia decided she would come, and she did come to our home on Sabbath. And God arranged it so that no other Mongolians showed up that Sabbath. This is just the beginning of our second group. And we, we had the picture rolls hanging up on the walls in the living room, and she was started looking at those, and we started telling her some of the Bible stories. Davahu.